Hello Jim, this is David Gould from Sloan Toyota Philadelphia on Cotman Avenue. I just wanted, thought maybe this video here might be a little bit more helpful for getting you a better idea of the condition of the car. We've got uh, some rain going on right here, uh, but the body's in excellent condition. Uh, you can see here with the tires, rims, it's 2012, super low miles. Um, I think I mentioned on the phone, I'm one of the managers here. I actually bought this car uh, from a local resident here who um, they stopped driving because of um, just coming off the road, no longer driving, some older folks. Uh, the car clearly reflects that with the miles that are on it. It's not uh, um, typical at all, as you're probably aware, and that's why you're uh, interested in that drive. You asked about the interior of the car. Uh, it is black at the exterior. It has the ash, which is gray, for the interior of the car. Everything's in excellent condition. Uh, the seats, you know, there's no wear marks or anything on them at this point. Um, pretty much the way the car came into us. When you're looking into the back there. I'm, I'm a non-smoker, and I would say that the car has a slight uh, smoke smell. Uh, and that usually, we can get that out um, with what they call the bombs. They call the bombs. But it's not like uh, a heavy or anything that would be upsetting for me. Let's put it that way. The car has the JBL audio upgrade system, which if you're looking online uh, at the time when they got the cars, that's going to be the upgraded system in the car. Let's uh, see what it looks like here on the dashboard when we light it up. You can see your actual mile sitting right out in front of us there. You can hear a lot of activity going on around here. It's very busy. We're in Toyotathon as we speak. Uh, up on top here right now, the car does have the map. And I guess it's got uh, CDs because there's something playing in here right now in the CD player. Uh, this screen face here, if I press the button, it's going to make it. We can see there's 3Ds. See, I guess they left their CDs in here. Um, so I'll be able to press a button here. And then that faceplate comes up and in. And then right there, that CDs... We can have them um, pop in and out. In other words, eject them or put them in right in through that slot. And then after we're done with it, we just press a button back on the bottom and the plate goes back. So everything's working. Um, there, I guess a DVD player that has, or a DVD disc that has the information. Um, I think it's a disc at this age for the, um, for the map. Because that's on board, the information is sitting there. Now down below your climate control, you can see your climate control over here with your fan, your modes where it's coming out. A lot of that we can control up in here with your Bluetooth controls and your speaker systems. Uh, volume up on top here for up down. We can skip songs. If I hit the button right now, I just skip the song to the next song. Uh, temperature control, there should be heated seats, yep. Heated seats down below here. And uh, I turned them off, they were very warm when I got in the car. Auxiliary, that's going to be your plugs right there for your USB and auxiliary for additional sound. And then your conventional power source here, um, you know, cigarette lighter style. You've got a little bit, looks like almost like a burn right there on a, one of the switches. Okay, there we go. So, and on the panel right there. That's truly the first thing I've seen in the car that isn't like factory. Everything else looks pretty good. That's actually called downhill assist. The switch does work because I can see it up on the see flashing up in the dashboard. Of course it's flashing because it won't engage until we uh, get the car out and put it into one one for it to work its way down the hill. Snow button. Snow should be up on the inside. See the orange right there for snow. Everything's working. Snow button gets you so that um, it tells the car that you're on real slippery surface. Another 12 volt uh, source right there. Uh, even the inside here is clean. Club box on the other side. Up on top here, we do have a sunroof and the controls. And this, I think, is Homelink. If you got it at your house, and I know a lot of the garage door openers, stuff like that, work with that feature, some lights. Um, up on top here for your interior lights and then your switches here for your for your moonroof, okay? That's the uh, vent. You can see it, vent is open. And then if I think if I press that forward with the other switch right here, that one, one of these is gonna make the Let's see if we can get it to go. There it goes. It's going to go backwards. You have to pull it backwards to open it. And I think once you touch it, it goes by itself. And then to close it, I'm just going to press the button forward again. And there it goes. So everything's working. Um, sharp car. I'm going to walk out to the back here real quick just to take a look in the back trunk area. Um, absolutely nothing here. It shows me that there's going to be any issues. 
Uh, tires, tire tread, everything looked good on it on the inside there. Our stock number and VIN number if you're looking it up online. Now I'm going to put this on to one of my active web places here. It has the links back to our site and the um, Carfax report, which I believe is going to show one owner. Um, now with this particular model of the car, I believe right here, if you press the button right here, that's going to unlock the top. That is not standard with the car. That's with the upgrades. And then we press under here to lift the whole tailgate up. And we can see original factory mats and there's no heel marks, no nothing in those. So those will be in here as well. Uh, let me see if I can see a spare tire. Oh, look at that. It's got the uh, cover. That's your valet cover that goes uh, across right in there and then covers the back back here while the third row seat. There's a third row seat underneath there while the third row seat is down. All right. Um, require a little bit of digging to be able to get the rest of the way under there. I don't want to make a mess of it. All right. So effectively right now, uh, this is a pretty cool car. And as I said, this was a, I just personally happened to have been involved with the purchase of this one. Um, nice, literally, nice little old lady. Uh, I think her man was the one that came off of uh, driving. He's not driving it anymore. So if this is helpful information, please let me know. Feel free to uh, text me back with the information I'm going to get to you for texting. And uh, give me a little uh, heads up, thumbs up, whatever to say this was helpful. Uh, if you're missing something still, please feel free to ask for that. I will try to take some photos as well to be able to, we're tight and area here, to be able to uh, get you a little bit closer information that way. But I think hopefully this video is going to be get you what you need. So once again, David Gould, new car manager at Sloan Toyota Philadelphia. We'll look forward to having helping you get up here. There is a directions link, by the way, off to the right, straight up 95. We're right off of 95 at exit 30 uh, outside of Philadelphia, the northern side of Philadelphia. It's an easy trip. Thank you.